Hola, Aguila. So today we are going to interview Mr. Tafoya, and he's going to go over his favorite book. So let's go grab him. Say hi, Michelle. Hi. Say hi, Diana. Hi. Oh, he's working. Let's do this. Hello. Hi. Hola, Aguila. This is Miss Bree, and today we're here with Mr. Tafoya, our learning director at Jefferson Academy. Hola a todos. So... Today, I asked Mr. Tafoya to pick out his favorite book, and he came up with... I chose Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, I didn't get my hands on this book until I was in eighth grade, uh, and it's great to see that I can see you know, third graders and fourth graders picking up this book, but this is my first chapter book that I was able to pick up and get through um, from, pay, you know, from the first page all the way to the last page. Um, you know, a couple things that I like, or I guess the main thing that I liked about this book is I really enjoyed coming to school. School was always great to me. Um, enjoyed learning and then I enjoyed hanging out with my friends. But the best thing that I took was, uh, when I read books like this was I was able to escape into a different reality. This was, uh, you know, a, a different world, a magical world, and it involved school. So I could relate as a student and part of me did wish when I was reading this book that I could be part of this you know the the wizarding world of Harry Potter so that was that's one of the great things about books like this is I can escape from you know from whatever's going on in my life right now and just dive into these stories and enjoy this for the moment I definitely can agree that's one thing that uh, in previous videos I've talked about that was my favorite book I read it cover to cover both in Spanish and in English because I was also in the dual immersion program and so I think it's really awesome that you know we're very similar in age and at the time when these books came out we were young while the books were coming out so we were anticipating and waiting just like you guys anticipate and wait for movies that's what these books were for us when we were kids and we were your age so i think that's a really exciting and important part about reading that we need to remember is that reading is from our teachers oh i hate reading or oh my gosh i have to read this but Ultimately, reading can be an escape from whatever reality you're in, and you can dive into that book and go to a completely different world. And Harry Potter has taken on so many different forms. There's, you know, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. There's, I think there's two, one in Orlando and one um, in Hollywood. There's movies. There's this whole, it's taken on this whole life, and it all came from a book. So I think that's a really awesome aspect that you um, brought up about your favorite book. Absolutely. It's a, it's a great thing, and I recommend it. And if it's, I mean, if I enjoyed it as a kid, and the kids these days are enjoying it, then there has to be something good in this book, right? Definitely. So I highly recommend this book for anybody who hasn't read it. And for those of you who have read through this, you know, you can always go and explore other books. That's why there's different, uh, you know, genres when you're reading. There's so much different stuff that you can get into. You don't have to read everything in the library, but find what you like and enjoy those and, and take advantage of those books that are available to you. Awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time to be in our video. And now we're going to go into a little bit about the author. I looked up some fun facts about the author, so we're going to go through those right now. J.K. Rowling, she was born in July of 1965. And her birth name is Joanne Rowling. So I don't know if you guys know this fun fact, but she actually wanted to go by J.K. and K is her middle name which she actually gave herself because publishers didn't want people to know that it was a woman writing the book so fun fact about that um also in 1994 she was on public assistance and living in scotland while she wrote harry potter and the philosopher's stone in coffee houses while her daughter napped um she actually used to teach english in portugal um, before she started writing that. So 1991 to 1993, she was a teacher. And then 1994, she started writing Harry Potter. Um, and then in 1997, Harry Potter was published. And in 98, the second book in the series was published. So very quick timeline. I was born in 1992. Don't do the math on how old I am. So that kind of gives you a reference to... I started reading this book and it was coming out and it was so exciting. It was like the next big thing. It was as big as movie premieres almost while I was growing up. 
that's what these books were when they started coming out. So I realized that I didn't do a proper outro and say I hope that you have a great week. So I hope that you enjoyed our interview with Mr. Tafoya. If you guys have any um, admin and or teachers that you would like me to spotlight and do a book talk interview with, um, go ahead and put that in forms or send me an email or a message in Teams. That would be great. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.